What's up, everybody? This is John from Coding Attic, and welcome to another HTML and CSS Nuggets video. And today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a CSS only loading spinner with just few lines of code. So if you need a quick and easy to use loading solution for your React or JavaScript apps, you'll find this video very useful. So let's get cracking. I'm going to go to my index HTML. And I simply want to create a div with a class of loading. Now, in my case, I'll wrap this div with a container. And you'll see why I'm doing that. And essentially, that is for centering purposes. So I'm going to place my loading inside of the div with a class of container. And then in style CSS, I simply want to target my loading first. And I'm going to go with some kind of width. Now, of course, this is up to you. Whatever dimensions you want. In my case, I'm going to go with height of six REM and the width of six REM as well. Then we right away want to set up a border. So I'm going to go here with border. And in my case, I'm going to go with three pixels, then solid. And we're going to go with hashtag and then CCC, essentially a gray color. So once I set it up, notice this is going to be my div. And I want to right away go with the border radius. And in my case, since I want it to be a circle, I'm going to go with 50%. And this is where the magic happens, where, of course, now I want to set up my border, my top border to be different color. So in here, I'm going to go with border, top, and line color. So I already have the border. I just want to change the color for my top border. And in here, I'm going to go with hashtag. And then again, whichever color you prefer. In my case, I'm going to go with 645 and then CFF. And then once we save, notice. Now I have the stop border. So at the very end, I just want to set up a loading spinner. And we do that using the CSS animations. And I just need to come up with a value. In my case, I'm going to go with hashtag and then keyframes. So that is the keyword that we need to use. So keyframes and then whatever name we want. In my case, I'm going to go with spinner. And in here, we're going to go with two. And we want to use a transform property and we'll rotate 360 degrees. So we go here 360 degrees. And now, of course, we just need to go back to the loading and we're going to go with animation. And of course, the name is spinner. Then we need to come up with a time. In my case, that is going to be 0 0.6 seconds and it's going to be linear. And since I want it to rotate all the time, the last value will be infinite. And there it is. Now, of course, we have our loading spinner. Now, as far as the centering, you have two options. If you go here with display in line block for the loading one, you can actually control it with a parent, in our case, container. Or if you leave this as display block, of course, then you can just go with margin and then whatever you would want on top and bottom. And then, of course, auto for left and right. So let's start with that one with the second option where I'm going to go with margin, then three REMs, for example, top and bottom, and then auto. And notice how right away, place my spinner in the center. So that's one option you can use. And like I said, the second one is setting up here displaying inline block. And then once we set this one, then of course, we just need to target our container. And then inside of the container, if we want to place our spinner in the center, we can simply go with text align, and then center and then come up with some kind of value for the top one. So in here, I can go with padding top, and then three REMs. So that's how we can set up a CSS only loading spinner with just few lines of code.